iodo at your service. In today's video, I'll be telling you why I think fantasy adventurers should always carry a walking staff. I'm far from the first YouTuber to make a video about sticks. I think the last one I saw was Shadowversity. I just wanted to make a video where I share my own opinions on the matter. I think the first thing I should mention, in Shadowversity's video, he favours a walking cane. Now, I much prefer a full length walking staff. Now a walking staff, being much longer, this is long enough to reach my eyes when it stood on the ground, is obviously much more versatile in the wild from the point of view of going on adventures. Whereas, obviously it's not going to be quite so city friendly if you're in an urban area because it stands out much more in a crowd than a walking cane. The other benefit of a stick is it's totally legal everywhere because how could you ban a stick? You couldn't ban it, which means nobody can ever question you for having a stick wherever you go. This one here is made to fan Dabidoza's video which I'll link. The only differences are he used hazelwood whereas I chose to use rowan wood and he used sandpaper to make his. I didn't actually bother which is why mine's very rough looking and also mine tapers to a point which I find is better for a walking staff because it digs into the ground better. Um, obviously less good for martial arts because it's going to be less strong towards that end and mine's finished in linseed oil so that water doesn't soak into it quite so easily. Now staffs, of course, have many uses. The first and foremost use in the context of a fantasy adventurer is definitely self-defence. Now, I'm no martial artist, but Fan Davidozzi also did a video about the self-defence uses in terms of martial arts of a walking staff, which I'll post a link to. Another reason a full-length staff, I find, is better is because if you're walking downhill or uphill, you can slide it through your hands and it helps you to regain your balance. And you can also use it for balance walking through rivers and such because if you're stood on rocks, you can the stick's long enough to put it on the ground in the stream, in the water, so that you can keep your balance. And of course, if you ever need to test the depth of anything or how stable the ground is, a stick is a very useful safety tool for doing that. I've actually used them in caves to make sure that there's no mine shafts hidden in the water so that I can feel where I'm walking. And in terms of self-defence, you can also make something called a staff sling. Now, I did see a video on this. I can't remember who it was by. If I can find it, I'll link it. And I'll have to see if I can try making one at some point and then demonstrate it, because I know I've done a video in the past about demonstrating a sling that I made. Not a very good video. It needs um, revisiting, I think. And of course, the final use of a stick is you can make a shelter somewhere where there are no trees, like here. shelter. Right, now you've seen that, this will of course work with anything else long, like a pole arm or a wizard's staff or even a witch's broomstick. So obviously if you've got any of those items you don't necessarily need to carry a stick with you as well. It would be a bit difficult to carry a stick and a pole axe or a spear at the same time. So today's video has been a very quick video and to conclude that is the reason why I think a walking staff is the most versatile type of stick for a fantasy adventurer to carry, unless you've got any other stick-like item with you. So thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video.
I think the conclusion is that never mind go to the end bit later I miss Sunny. <laughs>